Boonie Mayfield, The Brand Manual. Introduction. The Boonie Mayfield Brand Manual is more than just a blueprint for what Boonie Mayfield does creatively. It's a reflection of the journey, vision, and philosophy behind it. It's important for everyone on this team to deeply understand the soul of what Boonie is building, because it's not just about executing tasks, it's about bringing a shared vision to life. This material will help clarify who Booney Mayfield is, where he's coming from, where he wants to go, and how he and the team can succeed together. Investing the time with this document is not just learning about the Booney Mayfield brand. You're helping to build something much bigger, the Booniverse. Here's why it is very beneficial for potential team members, management, or representation to read this extensive information. One, deep understanding of the vision. The following information provides a comprehensive look into Booney Mayfield's creative philosophy, artistic direction, goals, and how he desires to be perceived in the industry. Two, clarity of brand. It helps establish Booney's brand identity, allowing the team to better represent and market him in a way that aligns with his values and vision. This ensures that everyone is on the same page creatively and professionally. Since Booney's approach is highly unique and genre-defying, sharing this information allows potential management or team members to see where his brand fits in the broader entertainment landscape. Three, long-term strategy. By absorbing this material, everybody on the team is better equipped to help each other succeed. It provides the tools to position Booney Mayfield accurately, reach his target audience, and build the brand consistently, consistently. The Musical Background of Booney Mayfield. Chapter One, Early Life and Hip Hop Foundations. Booney Mayfield was born and raised in Colorado Springs, Colorado, where his upbringing was heavily influenced by classic hip hop. His exposure to artists like A Tribe Called Quest, Busta Rhymes, Outkast, and Wu-Tang Clan shaped his foundational love for hip hop beats, rhythms, and lyricism. Booney's natural inclination toward rhythm became further evident once he started popping, breaking, and rapping in high school. This would all later become a key element in his music production. Discovering hip hop production, Booney's interest in music production began in his teenage years when he was brought to a recording studio for the first time and discovered the power of sampling and beat making. By the time he was in his early 20s, Booney was honing his skills as a producer using his early hip hop influences as a springboard to experiment with different styles and soundscapes. His natural ability to sample, chop, and reassemble sounds into cohesive tracks set him apart from other producers in the local hip hop scene. Chapter two, becoming Booney Mayfield, the producer. Transition from rap to production. Before fully committing to production, Booney was part of a rap duo from 2003 to 2007. His time as a rapper provided him with a deeper understanding of song structure, flow, and lyricism. This experience would later enrich his approach to music production, allowing him to create not only beats, but also fully fleshed out songs. The YouTube Breakthrough. In the mid 2000s, Booney gained significant recognition selling his beats online. Already one of the pioneers of what the industry now calls type beats, Booney also became a pioneer on YouTube where he shared beat-making videos. His charismatic, down-to-earth approach made him a fan favorite, and his YouTube channel became a hub for aspiring producers looking to learn from his techniques. His early viral success on the platform solidified his reputation as a talented producer with a dedicated following. Expanding beyond hip-hop. Although Booney's roots were firmly planted in hip-hop, his curiosity and drive for experimentation led him to quit sampling learn to play instruments, and explore a variety of genres, including psychedelic rock, funk, soul, and experimental music. His evolving sound reflected influences from iconic bands and artists such as Pink Floyd, The Beatles, Funkadelic, and Prince. This eclectic mix of styles became a hallmark of his work, creating a genre-defying sound that was hard to classify, but instantly recognizable as Booney Mayfield. Chapter three, evolution of an eclectic artist. In 2013, Booney released his debut album as an artist producer titled Booney Mayfield Presents Solomon Vaughn. This project represented a major turning point in his career, showcasing his growth as a producer, multi-instrumentalist, songwriter, and performer. 
The discography. Booney Mayfield's discography is a decade-long journey of artistic evolution, blending genres like hip-hop, funk, soul, rock, jazz, and experimental sounds. From his introspective debut, Booney Mayfield presents Solomon Vaughn, which laid the foundation for his genre-blending style, to the vibrant collective party record vibes of Audiopium, Booney continued to explore personal and artistic themes in Vaughn Solo, First Edition, and Vaughn Solo II, The Final Level, delving into his struggles with identity and the music industry. His Black Floyd, Dark Side of the Boon trilogy pushed sonic and narrative boundaries, combining surreal fantasy with real-life reflections. Most recently, Boon Pop, The Mile High Theory, showcases his genre-defying philosophy, merging his Colorado roots with empowering messages of belief and resilience, marking a mature yet adventurous phase in his career. Chapter 4, Challenges and Triumphs in the Music Industry. Facing criticism and industry hurdles. While Booney's rise to prominence as an online figure was marked by viral success on YouTube, his journey wasn't without struggles. As an independent artist, Booney faced and continues to face many challenges, navigating an industry that often struggles to support innovation beyond the tried and true. Booney has dealt with criticism and negativity, both from within the industry and from online audiences over the years. Despite immense talent, he is seen as an anomaly due to his multifaceted skill set. Booney often faces hurdles within the industry due to its inability to categorize his artistry. But regardless of these challenges, Booney has remained true to his artistic vision, choosing to create work that resonates with his authentic self rather than chasing trends or industry expectations. Chapter 5, Visuals and Philosophy. At the core of Booney Mayfield's artistry is the Mile High Theory, a creative philosophy that embodies freedom, elevation, and genre-bending artistry. This theory is a reflection of his approach to music. It also speaks to his mindset of seeing beyond the limitations of traditional music categories and creating from an elevated, unrestricted vantage point. Visual Storytelling. In recent years, Booney has shifted much of his focus toward visual storytelling. His web series, Boon Walker and Boon TV, bring his music to life through vivid, surreal visuals. These projects often blur the line between reality and fiction, pulling viewers into the strange and fluid world of Booney's subconscious. Chapter six, legacy and future of Booney Mayfield. Influence on independent artists. As an independent artist who has thrived outside of traditional music industry structures, Booney has inspired countless up and coming producers, musicians, and creators. His success on platforms like YouTube, combined with his DIY approach to music and video production, has shown aspiring artists that it's possible to build a career while maintaining creative control. His influence can be seen in a new generation of creators who prioritize artistic freedom over commercial trends. Unstoppable creativity. Looking ahead, Booney Mayfield's artistic trajectory seems poised for even greater expansion. His journey as an artist is a testament to the power of creativity, resilience, experimentation, and staying true to one's artistic vision. From his early roots in hip hop to his current status as a genre-defying artist with his very own version of pop music, Booney has consistently pushed the boundaries of sound and visual art. As he continues to evolve and explore new creative possibilities, one thing is certain, Booney Mayfield's artistry will remain as eclectic boundary-pushing and impactful as ever, continuing to explore the complexities of self-expression, vulnerability, and perseverance. His journey is far from over, and fans can expect even more groundbreaking work as the Booniverse continues to expand. Welcome to the Booniverse. The Booniverse is an all-encompassing creative universe that serves as the foundation for everything Booney Mayfield has produced and imagined. It merges every facet of his artistic identity, including his own genre, discography, musical short films, web series, TV shows, documentaries, characters, and other projects. The Booniverse functions as a limitless space where the boundaries between music, visual art, film, and storytelling dissolve. The environment reflects Booney's eclectic range of influences, blending genres with an abstract visual language. These worlds can be rich with various aesthetics like vintage television, VHS effects, and a distinctive channel flipping kaleidoscopic style, seamlessly merging surreal concepts, humor, depth, and artistic freedom. 
The Booniverse is where Booney's imagination and alter egos can roam free. As he likes to put it, he has so many alter egos, even his alter egos have alter egos. From the deeply introspective tones of his music to the trippy, dreamlike quality of his visuals, the Booniverse is the core hub for everything Booney Mayfield represents, an infinite space for boundless creativity. Let's dive in. Black Floyd, Dark Side of the Boon. The Black Floyd trilogy marked a significant chapter in Booney's artistic journey. Inspired by Pink Floyd, the project fused his love for rock, funk, and hip hop into a multi-dimensional narrative. The album, originally released in three parts, was shaped by Booney's experiences before and during the COVID-19 pandemic. The characters Me, Moss Elf, and I3RD, now collectively known as Black Floyd, were born from this creative period, representing different aspects of Booney Mayfield's personality and musical approach. After the full album's release in 2022, Black Floyd started to extend beyond music, becoming a superhero team storyline that Booney intends to have adapted as an animated series. Logline. Dark Side of the Boon is an epic journey into the subconscious mind of Booney Mayfield, where three musical superheroes, or super muses, fight to protect his inner child from the doubt monster and an army of inner demons in a vast psychedelic dream world. Synopsis. In the sub-realm, a subconscious dream world fueled by the creativity of Booney Mayfield, Me First, Moss Elf, and I3RD are born from his Black Floyd album. This dynamic trio, formed from distinct elements of Booney's music and personality, serves as guardians of the inner child, yours truly. As they navigate the surreal and ever-changing environments, Black Floyd and the inner child encounter bizarre characters, glorious battles, and endless challenges that reflect the deepest parts of Booney's subconscious. Their mission? To save the sub-realm from a manifested army of inner demons led by the menacing power of the deceit, a dark force that distorts truth and exploits fears, with the sole purpose of destroying Booney's hopes, inspiration, and creativity. With guidance from the intuition, a mystical source that communicates through signs and clues, Black Floyd must figure out a way to literally join together and reach Booney Mayfield's consciousness to transport him into the sub-realm. Only by merging together can they harness the full power of the prismatic energy, a cosmic force that fuels their musical abilities and superpowers to defend themselves against attacks from the deceit. Will Black Floyd be able to unlock the full potential of Booney Mayfield? Or will the deceit claim victory, plunging the sub-realm and Booney's creativity into darkness? Character Summaries Me First, the Moody Rockstar Me First is the embodiment of Booney Mayfield's serious, rebellious, introspective, and defiant side. When the prismatic energy is fused with the soul power of Me's musical tattoos, his potential for being one of the most powerful yet dangerous beings in the sub-realm is frightening to him. His rock-driven musical approach and super soldier combat style makes him the first to jump into action, but his intense emotions, hyper-focus, and fiery personality often cause clashes with himself and his teammates. Me First's archetype is heavily inspired by a mix of Wolverine from the X-Men, Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Roger Waters from Pink Floyd. Moss Elf, the quirky funk child, Moss Elf is the playful and optimistic super muse that brings humor to the team. His quirky jazz and funk-driven musical approach aligns with his role as the upbeat, light-hearted side of Booney Mayfield's personality. Despite his easygoing exterior, Moss Elf hides a deep sensitivity, often feeling lonely despite being the comic relief of Black Floyd. His open-mindedness and flexibility allow him to adapt to any situation, but his idealistic nature makes him vulnerable to the deceit's manipulations. Moss Elf's archetype is heavily inspired by a mixture of Deadpool, Michelangelo, and Bootsy Collins. I3RD, the Beat Machine. A half-android supermuse, I3RD is a reflection of Booney's rhythmic beat-making side with a knack for technical precision and intuition. He can only speak by playing samples of sounds, beats, and songs from Booney's musical hard drive. As a beat machine, I3RD has the ability to sample aspects of everything and everyone around him at close range. With enough prismatic energy, his time-stretching power can manipulate the tempos of his opponents and the sub-realm itself. While I3RD embodies the more quiet and observant side of Booney Mayfield, 
His connection to the music constantly looping inside his mind always keeps him grooving and providing the soundtrack for Black Floyd along their journey. I3RD's archetype has influences from Bumblebee from Transformers, Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy, and Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe. Although the Black Floyd storyline unfolds in a specific dimension, it plays a major part in the greater Booniverse. Every project Booney Mayfield creates ties into this vast world, where his music and visual work exist as interconnected threads of his identity and artistic vision. Boon TV, the musical sketch comedy show. Boon TV is a satirical comedy series that melds original music and sketch comedy while parodying the music industry through the exploits of surreal fictional characters in an imaginary dream world. Boon TV is not only groundbreaking in its content, but also in its creation, fully produced and brought to life by the multi-talented biracial married couple, Booney Mayfield and Janie Morris Vaughn. The dynamic duo, reminiscent of beloved pairs like Sonny and Cher and Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, brings a fresh, diverse perspective to the world of comedy and music television. Their unique chemistry and collaborative spirit infuse every aspect of the show, making Boon TV a pioneering project in representation and creative storytelling. The style and tone. Boon TV can be thought of as a unique blend of several influential shows, creatively merging the satirical and musical elements of Flight of the Concords and The Lonely Island with the sketch comedy style of Key and Peele and Chappelle's show. Each episode features music videos and satirical news segments that tackle modern societal norms through a hilariously distorted lens. Boon TV thrives on a fusion of sharp satire, eclectic humor, catchy tunes, and clever wordplay. The show's creative approach is heavily influenced by the classic eras of music, ranging between the 1950s to early 2000s, which offers a nostalgic yet fresh perspective on the entertainment industry and its history. Each musical number is crafted to not only provoke laughter, but to also encourage reflection on the quirks of everyday life and the absurdity of celebrity culture. The show embodies the old school texture of the MTV Classic Channel, with the fast paced, channel flipping style reminiscent of Robot Chicken. This format allows the show to seamlessly navigate through different eras and segments, creating a nostalgic viewing experience that keeps the audience entertained and connected to the diverse styles and cultural references from past decades. Competitive Advantage of Boon TV. In the realm of sketch comedy, music often plays second fiddle to humor, with songs crafted more for laughs than for lingering melody and genuine musical appreciation. This is not the case with Boon TV. Here, music takes center stage. Boon TV distinguishes itself by prioritizing high quality musical production, ensuring that the tracks can stand on their own as serious pieces of music designed to resonate as strongly as the comedy. This fusion not only sets the show apart, but also enhances its replay value and broadens its audience base. Boon TV benefits from the creative control maintained by its creators, who bring authentic, diverse perspectives to every episode. Their hands-on approach guarantees that the artistic vision remains uncompromised, providing a consistent viewer experience. Moreover, the show's efficient production model proves that high entertainment value doesn't require extravagant budgets, making Boon TV a cost-effective choice for networks and streaming platforms looking for innovative yet financially manageable content. The future for Boon TV. Boon TV is not just a show, it's a vibrant ecosystem creating its own pop culture within the Booniverse. With its unique blend of catchphrases, fictional artist logos, faux fashion brands, and Janie's graphic design background in band merch production, Boon TV is ripe for becoming a powerhouse in merchandise. The show will also feature its own award ceremonies, mockumentary clips inspired by classics like Behind the Music, and more, enriching its world with even more depth and satire. Additionally, potential celebrity guests on Boon TV won't just play as themselves. They'll dive into the fun by creating and embodying their own original characters, adding layers to the show's rich narrative fabric. Overall, Boon TV stands out for its originality, daring humor, and its potential to become a worldwide cultural phenomenon. Boonwalker, the chronicles of a musical visionary. 
Moonwalker is an artful expedition into the career and personal life of Booney Mayfield, presented through a stylistic montage of archived footage spanning over two decades. The web series is a unique video anthology that mirrors today's digital trend of photo dumps on Instagram, yet elevates it into a more sophisticated video dump that blends artistry with nostalgia. Drawing inspiration from Michael Jackson's Moonwalker film, the web series travels through a wide variety of Booney's projects and intimate moments, ranging from stirring music videos and studio jam sessions to beat battles, candid interviews, and vintage high school dance performances. Each episode is crafted with the distinct channel-flipping style of Boone TV, offering a rapid yet cohesive flow. The editing technique is a cornerstone of the series, incorporating a rhythmic and musical pacing while tying disparate moments together into a seamless narrative. This approach not only highlights Booney's video editing prowess, but also reflects the unpredictable nature of his creative process. Boonwalker is particularly tailored for potential superfans of Booney Mayfield, as it is the only project that comprehensively melds every phase and element of his career and the Booniverse into a single cohesive space. It serves as the ultimate collection for those looking to immerse themselves fully in the artistic milestones and personal moments that have defined Booney's unique path as an artist. Through this series, viewers are invited on a sensory journey that showcases Booney's multifaceted career and celebrates the legacy and enduring impact of his artistry, making Boonwalker an essential experience for devoted followers and new fans alike. Boon Documented. Boone Documented is an intimate docuseries capturing Booney Mayfield's life and creative journey as a pioneering DIY musician. Originally created and produced by him and his wife, Janie Morris Vaughn, the show launched in the beginning of 2012. Boone Documented was one of the first self-made documentary-style reality shows on YouTube, blending candid, real-time footage, talking head interviews, and unscripted moments. The first season of Boone Documented followed a traditional documentary reality show format, where each 30-minute episode gave viewers a deeper look at Booney's daily life, creative process, and relationships with friends and collaborators. This format allowed fans to connect with Booney on a deeper level than the beat-making videos he was known for. However, due to the technical limitations of the time, including slow internet speeds and long upload times, the series paused after six episodes. In 2016, Boone Documented returned with a new format, adopting a more traditional documentary approach focused on the making of Booney's projects. While the original reality show aspect was absent, the series continued to offer deep insights into the creative process. Episodes of the series have documented milestone moments in Booney's career, including the making of his first musical comedy short film, Ho Ho Ho, A Bad Santa Carol. Boone Documented presents The Chop Up. In 2019, Booney Mayfield launched a spin-off to the Boone Documented series called The Chop Up, a podcast that allows Booney to connect with peers and have insightful discussions about life, careers, creative journeys, and challenges of navigating an ever-evolving industry. The podcast was designed to provide a space and offer fans a candid look into Booney's intimate and thought-provoking dialogue with like-minded individuals. Episodes like Career Transitions offered transparency and real-world advice as Booney and his newfound friend shared experiences with their own career pivots in real time. The Chop Up stands as another example of Booney's commitment to authentic storytelling, whether through music or conversation. While paused for the time being, Booney is open to reviving the series when the timing is right, potentially expanding its reach into new areas of discussion and collaboration the future of Boone Documented. As Boone Documented continues to evolve, Booney Mayfield is committed to expanding the docuseries with new episodes that explore fresh aspects of his journey. The next phase will include in-depth coverage of current and upcoming projects, offering fans exclusive behind-the-scenes access to the making of Boone TV and other visual projects in the works. With the potential revival of the spin-off podcast, The Chop Up, and new episodes chronicling the next era of Booney's creative journey, the future of Boone Documented is bright. Boone Pop, the self-made genre. Boone Pop is a genre created by Booney Mayfield, reflecting his signature approach to music. 
blending an eclectic range of influences while remaining experimental, soulful, and deeply personal. The Black Floyd album was the defining moment for boom pop as a genre, although the term hadn't yet been coined. While Booney experiments with different sounds, rhythms, and structures, he also maintains a sense of accessibility that keeps his music enjoyable and relatable. Booney's music has a dreamlike, psychedelic quality, but is still grounded in soulful grooves and catchy rhythms, making it widely appealing. This philosophy is exemplified in the way Booney's music makes listeners feel both relaxed and energized. They can choose to sit back and reflect or get up and dance. This duality mirrors Booney's perception of Colorado's culture. Laid back, but always ready to have a good time. The creative process. The Boon Pop sound is characterized by both its diversity and cohesiveness, blending live instrumentation with programmed elements and emphasizing groove, soul, and rhythm. Booney's songwriting process often starts with his vintage Wurlitzer 200, Bonita, for chord progressions and melodies. His bass guitars Beatrix and Billie Jean play key roles in shaping the sound, while Booney incorporates drum loops he previously programmed and played, giving his music a timeless and personal touch. Subgenres and styles of Boon Pop. Boon Pop contains distinct subgenres or rhythmic styles that are fundamental to its sound. One, mile high swing. Characterized by a slowed down and swung hip hop drum loop, mile high swing is typically set in halftime, though listeners are encouraged to dance and bounce to it in double time. The swing, which is partly influenced by the 1940s swing era, brings a bouncy and danceable feel to the music. The frequent tempo of Boon Pop is intentionally set as a sweet spot for Booney's vocal delivery and dance moves. Another signature component Booney often uses is the automated voice samples saying, bounce, directly guiding listeners on how to feel the groove. Tracks such as Thrive and Mile High Salute are perfect examples of Mile High Swing. Two, Mile High Drive, a minimalistic approach focusing on a prominent bass drum on the one and three of a measure, driving the composition without a snare or backbeat. The open space given by the absence of a snare backbeat allows the artist more flexibility to steer and weave the rhythm of their vocals. Like Mile High Swing, the tempo is set in halftime, but meant to be bounced to in double time. This style first appeared on tracks like Haterade and Blade Brown. Other notable Mile High Drive tracks include Stay Fresh, the Vaughn solo killer beat Itch, and Upside Joe Head. Number three, Mile High Screw. Derived from the chopped and screwed genre and technique originated from the Houston hip hop scene, Booney inhabits a DJ alter ego as I3RD with mashups of Boon Pop songs, bringing down the tempo and pitch and triggering spacious effects, delays, stops, and reverbs. Mile High Screw pushes the psychedelic, dreamlike quality of Booney's music even further. This nostalgic approach first appeared on Mile High Screw of Mind. Other notable tracks include Represent and Thrive Slow and Duncan So High. The Boon Walk and Boon Pop Culture. A core element of Boon Pop's identity is the Boon Walk. Booney Mayfield's love for dancing to his tracks inspired him to reach back into his arsenal of moves and incorporate his unnamed side glide he created over 20 years ago. The Boon Walk perfectly complements the smooth yet danceable feel of the genre, reflecting Boon Pop's ethos of carefree self-expression, where the listener is encouraged to either relax or dance as they please. Booney tends to do the latter. Along with the Boon Walk, Booney's been adding more self-made dance moves to the fold of Boon Pop, like the 12 o'clock. As Booney Mayfield continues to develop Boon Pop, it is becoming a multifaceted culture that blends music, dance, visuals, and technology. With Booney's vast creative vision and platforms like the Booniverse housing his discography, shows, and more, Boon Pop will likely continue to expand into new realms, offering immersive experiences that redefine pop culture. The mission. Booney Mayfield is driven by a vision that goes far beyond the music, visuals, and stories that define his artistry. His mission is to build and expand the Booniverse as a foundation for a larger movement, a movement dedicated to transforming the entertainment industry into a space where creativity, equality, and integrity thrive. Booney strives to break industry norms, fostering environments where women and people of color are represented and compensated fairly, and where work-life balance and ethical practices take precedence over toxic industry standards. Inspired by the likes of Quincy Jones and Tyler Perry, 
Booney Mayfield knows that his multifaceted talent and visionary leadership have the potential to create lasting change. His goal is not only to push the boundaries of self-expression and artistry, but to create opportunities for other creatives to see their dreams realized. Through his brand, platforms, and future production company, Booney aims to be a blessing to others, building an industry where creativity is celebrated, diversity is embraced, and every voice is heard. Joining Booney Mayfield isn't just about music, visuals, or storytelling. It's about creating a new paradigm where creativity, equality, and integrity thrive. Booney is calling on visionaries, creatives, and collaborators who truly believe in the possibilities. Whether as a partner, investor, or creative ally, you have the chance to help build something that empowers people, making an impact that extends far beyond the Booniverse. Together, we can create lasting change in the entertainment industry. Together, we can elevate what's possible and build something extraordinary.